Hey, buddy. Hey, um, uh, wait for me. Well, well, you get two welcomes to Death Valley. One when you see the sign, and the other one when you pay the $30 entrance fee. <laughs> this spot to take a picture. So we've just dropped down into Death Valley, and down at the bottom there, it's like 280 feet below sea level. And right at this point right here is sea level. We're right at sea level right now. And the valley's way down there. And they got a super nice little hotel right here. And there's a wee little airport down there you can just drop in. And it's super windy. The town down there is called Furnace Creek. And it's called Furnace Creek for a reason. When the wind howls through there and it's 91 degrees right now, it feels like you're in a furnace. What, dust? Dirt? Super windy, but it's crazy. We are 190 feet below sea level and it's really hot. Well, it's a windy day in Death Valley, and um, yeah, dust is on the move, but we're pulling up on an old, one of the original borax mines, and apparently the, a lot of mule trains were based here. And there's one example of their trailer setup. Wow, this is just bizarro. Holy. internet? I do. <laughs> wind. Probably. Probably. Sorry about the wind noise. This is the standard of transportation back in the 1800s. These wagons weighed at 80,000 pounds each and this is how how all the mines got their stuff. So this particular area is doing ore acts, but the mines that were pulling out ore, they would use wagons like this and big steel wraps on the, on the wheels. And the ore would come out in these things and they would bring water in. So when this thing was going in, that tank would be full of water coming out, it would be empty. And obviously you see the, you see the break, it's made of wood. As you can see the brakeman has his own little place to stand and look at the size of the brake. This one's this one's brake. Pretty cool. But also pretty windy. Sorry about all the noise. So over here we have some kind of little factory where they made borax or something. Refining borax. washing it. 
Beauty shot right there. Trying to treat that. Put her in the shot. And Chris has got an internet connection. All good. Got an internet connection? Yes. All good. That's um, this ore bucket's from long after the turn of the century. There's no rivets on it anywhere. It's all welded. That's more like 1920s, 30s. Nice little setup. Oh, here's some minerals. Interesting. We like minerals here. Okay. This is really popular around here. Talc. They make um, baby powder out of it. There's mines all over the place. Oh, I like it. Yeah. That's what copper ore. Look at that. Can we get some light in here? Look, we have a spot for children. <laughs> kind of um, middle of nowhere, but you know how I'm partial to gate guards? I don't really think this is a gate guard, but kind of partial to things that fly. These guys are just sitting here. Looks like a foot time they even had a light on them. Oh my god, someone left the door open. A little look in here while I'm at it. Oh, oh wow. Let's see if we can fix her up. Okay, I'll try and get the door closed properly. I think it still works. Somebody just didn't, didn't close it. Oh, it doesn't work very well. Oh, there you go. That's better. The wind's still kind of going through here. Sorry about the wind noise. We use these up in Canada at alley ski and 13 people get in these things. And there's usually a bench across there. <laughs> they got this door locked up. Good thing.
freeway spotted the US Air Force looks like an F-86 we're gonna pull in there and check it out just sitting there X Thunderbird aircraft let's have a look I can't say I've ever seen one anchored to the ground quite like this one is but it gets really windy around here we are right next to Area 51 because we spotted some wild dogs. <laughs> Hello. And then we're gonna go down the road just a wee ways because every you see where everyone's pulling over, there's a few more down there. Hello, donkeys. Oh, oh, oh. oh my goodness. Hello. Oh. Hello, how are you? Hello. Hi. In the middle of the picture there is Big Dune. It's a park in Nevada and it is made by natural dust storms, which is going on right now. You can see how the air comes from the left side of the shot here and it gets it gets lifted by that mountain range and all the all the sand drops out right at the Big Dune and it's happening right now. We've driven by here a few times and we've never seen it do this, but we knew that it does this from time to time. The things you see at Area 51. World's largest fire crash. Inside here. Sign on the door says no smoking. Hmm. I think that's a pretty good idea. Hello. How you doing, buddy? Fine, how are you? Good. Do you mind if I film? Uh, talk to this guy. Thank you. Just keep us out of it. Oh, I will. I've never actually seen anything quite like this. <laughs> oh, yeah, special one for the pandemic. Goodness. Yeah. 